for you. Okay. Thank you, Yasmin, and welcome everyone. It's really a joy and an honor to be standing here in uh, what I consider a historical moment. Historical moments are never felt as historical when they happen. It's later on that uh, they create uh, an effect and influence. Uh, as you've seen the schedule uh, of our program, that's the typical structure of our program. We're gonna start with uh, an introduction and then we're going to um, s uh, start with a little talk, more of an intellectual subject that's presented. And then we'll feature an artist, whether it's visual arts or film or uh, any type of art, uh, and we're we're going to the artist is going to present their art and talk about it, and then uh, we're going to have an open uh, a featured poet, and then an open mic se uh, session where you know people uh, basically uh, participate and share their their creative work, and we're going to finish with um, uh, stand up comedy, and um, and music. I'd like to welcome everyone, of course. I'd like to uh, uh, mention more specifically uh, His Excellency Ambassador Dr. Ali Ajami for attending with us today and all of the respected guests, uh, artists and writers and uh, poets and creative people who uh, made this happen today by, by, by sh showing up and uh, believing in what we're doing. Uh, the program itself, I just want to mention that it will grow depending on um, on what the feedback is. So we will we will adjust as we feel that uh, you know you you're giving us feedback to adjust and to improve the program. Uh, just a little uh, history of the effort that led to here. Of course, uh, many of us are active in the community and they do a lot of uh, work to um, empower uh, art and um, creative work. Uh, specifically, the Dearborn Open Mic started in uh, about summer of 2017. Um, me and Rifat uh, had the idea of starting an open mic in Dearborn because we would go to a different Dearborn. Op uh, we would go to different open mics in the area, and find a lot of uh, specifically Arab Americans participating, traveling uh, distances to participate. So we thought, why not having one in Dearborn, it's more central? and we can probably encourage more people to show up. So we started that effort. Uh, we had Arabic artists, we had, uh, I mean, artists presenting work in Arabic, artists presenting work in, in English. Uh, Arabic became really popular and it overtook the program. Uh, and about um, many respected people joined the, the, the program, among which is the respected ambassador who himself is uh, a poet and a, a published poet and a, um, a professor of Arabic language. Um, and others, Dr. Hassan Bazzi, Hanan Sharara, Kamil Bazzi. Uh, and then we had more uh, diverse participation in the program like Dr. Hani Bawardi. We added Adnan Sharara who's, who has the, uh, the, he's one of the Arab American artists. Mr. Nasser Al Hajj who's uh, um, um, also uh, a musician uh, and an, an Arabic artist and uh, Ziad Nasser who you'll meet later on also as a musician and it developed to uh, it gave birth to the Arab American Center for Culture and Arts a nonprofit organization to support efforts such as this the program continues in the first Wednesday of each month but now it is totally in Arabic and it's called the Muntada Thaqafi Fi Dirbon, the Dirbon Cultural Forum. It takes place in the auditorium uh, downstairs. Then we came back to, uh, we wanted to ensure that the original idea of creating that space uh, is, you know, is, is created. So we um, had this organized effort together to create the English Dirbon Open Mic and uh, although we've had it going on in various places at a smaller level, it was the decision to bring it to the museum and really focus on it and grow it because of the need uh, for it. Uh, Yasmin joined that committee that organizes Dearborn Open Mic. Uh, Manal is part of this committee. Um, Rewa, uh, who is, uh, you'll get to know her in the upcoming uh, sessions and also Amr Zahar, who cannot be with us today because he has a, a comedy show in Royal Oak. Anyone else I'm missing, uh, Yasmin? 
Rafat, of course, is part of that committee. So um, um, just real fast that, of course, uh, you all know why we need such a space. Uh, um, we have a very unique voice. It's a voice that's coming out of our community. All these words have a fluidity in them, so I'm gonna stay away from defining them. What is our community? What does it mean to, uh, uh, to have a community? How do you connect with each other in a community? Uh, the word jalia in Arabic, what does it mean? Uh, Arab American, what does it mean? Currently, Dearborn uh, blog is, is creating a series about Arab American identity, starting with interviews with Dr. Hani Bawardi, and you can find that on uh, the Dearborn blog uh, podcast. So all these questions are, are open, and we're creating this space to have a space where we can exchange our intellectual ideas, ex ex exchange our artistic um, expressions freely and truly with all the diversity and the beautiful tapestry of uh, what makes us a community. So I'm looking forward for what's going to uh, be uh, relayed over this mic and what's going to be uh, heard through, uh, through it. And uh, all, not, we're not only uh, creating that space that's inspirational for us, we're also, uh, we're also recording these and we're producing them to the world. So, uh, Dearborn, we don't want Dearborn to be a place where you come to eat only, where you come to explore uh, Middle Eastern food. Uh, our Middle Eastern heritage has a lot more than tabbouleh and has a lot more than, uh, you know. The, uh, definitely, I'm not against tabbouleh. Um, so we, we, we are looking forward for uh, these videos to be what we're producing from Dearborn for the whole world to enjoy and to share. Uh, it's also uh, broadcast on Dearborn blog um, uh, podcast. So if you subscribe to the podcast, you can hear them. And it's also broadcast live on uh, Facebook. And thank you for all for being here. I guess Yasmin asked me to read a poem. Um, I read a poem called An Artist is an Essence. An artist is an essence. It's not what you do, it's how you see things. It's not seeing white clouds in the sky, but rather seeing blue and yellow and gray and green, white, peach lines and shades. It's walking everyday life, but one inch higher off the ground. An artist doesn't know what he or she wants. They know how it feels to want. They know the delicate details of an emotion. A simple touch is a symphony. Feel the paint sinking into the canvas. Don't worry who is going to see it. Let it be and it becomes you and you will be absorbed by its essence. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wissam. Uh